Hey guys, how's it going? So today's project is super simple. I wanna harvest peppers and get them all strung up and ready to dry. This is one of the easiest things you can do to help preserve and prolong your harvest if that's something that you're interested in doing. You don't need any really special place to hang them to dry and you really don't need a lot of special supplies for this. So I'm standing right in front of our cut flower garden. Everything is looking so revived. We've had some cooler nights and everything's feeling like this new surge of energy. I am, I mean, it's so much nicer to be out here without that intense heat. I mean, just look at this, the layers. Oh, sunflowers are a bit weary from all the wind. And I do have some holes in here where we have pulled some things out already, but overall, oh, so pretty. And this is it in terms of supplies. Felcos, something to put the peppers in, and then some 24 gauge paddle wire, which is what I typically use to make reeds. I've used uh, thread and multiple different types of string to thread peppers. Wire is the easiest because it eliminates the need to have a, a needle um, and it's stronger. You can thread more peppers on one in one bunch if that's something you want to do. Okay, so here are my peppers right here. There really aren't, I don't feel like there are a ton of them. I mean, I could have kept going. I never even finished planting this row right here, which makes me feel a little sad based on how everything else is growing. I should have just tossed some kind of seed out there, but honestly, I was just kind of losing momentum toward the middle part of summer and oh my word, there are so many bumblebees on this play in the blue salvia. Bumblebees and honeybees. Oh, how fun is this? All right, so back to the peppers. First two that I have here are called baby chocolate. So they're like the little mini bells and this is what they look like when they're ripe. Look at how cute those are. I'm not stringing up bell peppers. I don't know like if one can do that, probably. I've never done it before. Um, we're gonna be focusing mostly on hot peppers. This says it's a red bell pepper. <laughs> I don't think so. That looks like a jalapeno if I've ever seen one. See, mislabeled I think. And then I do have a couple of bell pepper plants here with some beauties on them. Look at that, I should take that one. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then I've got a Jalafuego, which is kind of leaning over. I'm surprised that these have actually held up. Whoa, hold on, whoa, look at that one. So yeah, this is a type of jalapeno right here. You can see these are really good, really good. And the plant is just loaded with them. And then I am left with, look at how beautiful the rest of these peppers are. These are all the Proven Winners Hot and Heavy. And that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today. These are kind of, they're termed a hot pepper, but I would say that they're kind of medium, medium in heat. Um, they start out yellow, then they turn orange, and when they turn red, that's a fully ripe pepper. And that's what we're gonna be after today. Let me put these booties in the trailer though. Oh my. So these pepper plants, I put Biotone and Land and Sea in the planting holes when I put them in the ground and they have not been fertilized since. <laughs> so they're doing great based on that fact. And when you are harvesting peppers to string to dry, you do want to pick them at peak ripeness or even a slightly overripe pepper. Like this right here is perfect. Beautiful color, peak ripeness. Even if the pepper is showing a little bit of decay, like if it's shriveled up a little bit, that's still a perfect one to pick. Um, these just tend to dry the best uh, when they are strung up. So what I think I'm gonna do is just get them all harvested out here, then we're gonna move to the vegetable garden and get those harvested. And then I've got a, one other pepper plant in one other location that we're gonna go check and see. I think there was a couple ripe ones on that. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna skip all the jalafuegos and jalapenos. I'm just gonna do hot and heavies today.
there are a lot of peppers still left that look really close. Like the orange is just starting to turn to red, but I'll wait on those. And I got quite a good amount here. I mean, way more than enough to make a couple of strings of peppers. Plus, I mean, I just kept finding more and more of these huge bells. They're so pretty. beautiful and I left my hose out I see so here's the other batch of peppers and these uh, were the ones I started actually from seed inside and I also had a big volunteer sunflower that was growing in here we pulled that out a while ago and I still haven't filled the hole up yet with soil but there's a ton of peppers here that look ready to roll there's also a bunch of buried treasure red strawberries looking gorgeous it's weird because some of my hot and heavies look like the pictures on the website like kind of shorter but a lot of them are longer like a lot of them i just harvested are really long i don't know what the deal is there like are these extra happy or what see how shrivelly that one is that's also perfect got some work being done and the last pepper is in the cocktail garden. It's looking a little weary, but there are some peppers on it. All right, I'm all set up in the sun porch and I've got everything I need. My peppers, my paddle wire, my pruners. And then I do suggest if you are stringing up really hot peppers, use a pair of gloves because you will inevitably get some of the pepper oil on your fingers. And if you touch your eye, that can be really painful. These are only mildly spicy to me, so I think I'm gonna be okay. Um, and in this case, like showing you guys, I wanna have more dexterity. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull a piece of paddle wire, making sure not to bend it at any point. You need a nice straight piece, no crinkles in it. And you want to pull it out longer than you actually want your string of peppers to be because you want to accommodate for being able to tie it off to something and then also to create an end, which I'll show you how to do in a second. It's always best to err on cutting more wire because you can always clip it shorter if you need to. So the first thing we do is we take our wire and we pierce the pepper through the green top, just like that. And see how nice that is? If you use wire, it's sharp enough that it just pops right through the pepper and it eliminates the need to use a needle, which is so wonderful. So we've got a little tail end right here. I realize it's probably hard to see the green wire on this green table, but then I'm just gonna take it and wrap it around the stem. And it should hold just perfectly, just like that. So that is the bottom of our pepper string. And then all we're gonna do, not much to it you guys, is just keep on stringing our peppers. So putting the wire through the greens on the top. So we've got two right there and basically you're just gonna be stacking your peppers one on top of the other until you get to the end you want and then you're basically done. So I'm just gonna keep on stringing here and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get it to about this length right here. There's our string of peppers. I think there's 20 or 22 on this one piece. And honestly, I was really glad I cut it a little extra long because I ended up cutting the end uh, a couple of different times because it's inevitable. Sometimes you push it into the pepper and it meets a little bit of resistance and then it, it creates a little crimp in the wire, which can really like kind of make a mess of the holes. You want it to be as straight and as smooth as possible. So it's not creating extra big holes. Uh, we want these to be on there very snug. Uh, and I've got plenty left over to tie it off. And we're gonna put this in a back room. It's kind of dry, uh, well ventilated, it's darker. I've got some herbs drying in that room right now. And it will take anywhere from, I mean, it can be from four to eight weeks to completely dry out, depending on what type of pepper it is and how thick the walls are. Now you don't wanna string up any kind of peppers that have blemishes on them. So if there are soft spots, or like little brown spots or anything, any tears or rips in the pepper, um, you really want to have like a nice, nicely formed peppers. And like I said, it's okay if they're a little bit crinkly, like a little bit past um, ripeness, 
if that makes sense. Um, you also can rinse and dry these if you want to. I typically do that when I get ready to use them um, because they, they tend to gather dust. Unless you're going to, as soon as they're dry, store them in an airtight container somewhere, they just inevitably will gather dust during the drying period. So I did knock any like bigger pieces of soil off. They're pretty clean. So anyway, that's pretty much all there is to drying and storing your peppers. I mean, it's so easy and you don't really need anything special to do it. And that way you can, I don't know, it makes me feel better. Like I can, I have a way to utilize these things later on instead of just letting them, you know, rot on the vine if I don't have time to pick and take them down to the food bank. Um, or if, you know, all of my friends and family are already flush with peppers. So anyway, super happy with how this turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a super short project, but it's one of those things that kind of creeps up every single fall. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay guys, so just a really quick PS. I was able to make four strings of peppers, so I wanted to show them to you. There they are. So we're still up here in the sun porch, of course. I will move those inside to dry. Uh, this is the first one we made. Here is the second one. And I tried to keep like-sized peppers together. There's the third. And then the fourth one has all the little itty bitty peppers. It's so cute. I just love it. I cannot wait to hang these in the root cellar. It's gonna look so pretty. Eating them will also be nice too.